Robin West from the Cyber Technologies Data Services team. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our new set of APIs called the Mobile Computer Device Health APIs. Did a short video on this earlier. Um, the new video here is going to be talking about the batteries, very important type of technologies. Um, so these particular APIs are uh, dealing with different aspects of batteries and battery maintenance. As before, if you are interested in trying out these APIs or finding out about pricing, please contact your Zebra Technologies representative, your account manager, or your partner manager. The APIs we're talking about today are all around battery health and battery maintenance. There are three APIs in this category in the Mobile Computer Device Health group. Uh, one of them is battery events, one of them is battery health, and the other one is battery status. Battery status tells you a lot of information about the particular battery that you might be looking at. It tells you things like how charged it is, its particular voltage at the current time, and its temperature. Battery events are basically any time the battery is charging or discharging, if you pull it off of its charging cradle or if you put it back on, the device actually sends out an event. Um, and these events are all captured within our system. Uh, and you can actually use this API to take a historical look back and find out about all those different events. Battery Health is an advanced machine learning algorithm designed to help you figure out how long a battery is going to last and be active and useful. Um, it uses records from what uh, different voltages and things on the battery are in the past, as well as the events of taking it off the cradle and putting it on the cradle in order to determine this useful life of the uh, battery based on your current use as well as across the, your fleet of devices. So this particular API does have two different methods to it. Uh, one of them is to find the remaining useful life by device ID and the other one is by battery ID. So in order to show you how this works, I've pulled up uh, remaining useful life by device ID. And like I said, there's also by uh, battery ID. Uh, we've got the device ID and I'm going to send this request. And I'm responding back and I'm seeing that the remaining useful life on this device is 180 days. Um, this is the maximum that it will ever tell you um, based on the use of the device and of the battery. All the devices in our inventory actually say 180 days and it's the maximum um, that it will ever tell you. Uh, the reason for that is that all of our devices are either pretty new or are sitting on the cradle all the time so they don't run down the battery very quickly. Um, they also, you also have to look at the number of days that it's been seen. This gives you a, an indication of how accurate that uh, reading is. Um, if it's been seen only for a few days, then it's not likely to be very accurate because it can't do that prediction for you. Um, the longer you have on there, uh, the more accurate your prediction is likely to be. Battery status is an API that tells you a lot of information about a particular battery, both now and historically. It tells you things like uh, its current charge source, its um, temperature, its voltage, and what actual charge level it's currently at or what it was at last time it checked in. In order to see this in action, I've pulled this up in our Swagger page and I'm going to run the request. So now you can see uh, the information that re gets returned a couple of times a day, uh, the battery will send its current status. Uh, tells you what type of battery it is, uh, what charge percentage is at, as well as a number of different other information that's really useful to use within your applications. So in order to highlight these APIs in action, we've created a dashboard. As we showed you at the last video, we've added to this particular dashboard to show the information about batteries. So you'll notice a new column in here for battery status for each of the devices that we have currently connected to the system. If we click on one of these battery statuses, it'll tell us the current charge level, whether or not it's plugged in, um, and things like its temperature and its voltage and its serial number, and how long it's likely to be still active and you don't need to replace it. You can also see some batteries might not be fully charged in or are plugged in um, and what's happening with those as well. We do this 
by pulling two separate APIs. One of them is the battery status API, which most of this information comes from, and the other one is the battery health API, which tells us how long that the battery is likely to continue to last. So you'll see that information combined together in this particular screen, and I'll show you the code for that in just a moment. So you can see this page not only shows battery events, but other events that have been happening with this particular device. It's showing that um, over the course of last week, there were some days where nothing much was happening with that device, and other days where a user was using it fairly regularly and doing different things with it. Showing things like um, how many times it may have been pulled off and on to a cradle, as well as powered on and off by the user, and how much they're actually using it. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what actually gets returned when you call this particular when you call these APIs. So I'm going to run this page again with a breakpoint in here so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to actually select one of the batteries so that we can see the status of it. So in here we can see that the object that gets returned has a bunch of different information about it. It tells you the particular device that it's attached to, its own uh, serial number, as well as a couple of other pieces of information about when it was manufactured, how much charge it has in it. Um, the statuses are something that are documented, and uh, I can show you that in the code, um, so you can see what these particular values also mean, as well as the temperature. And I'm going to keep on rolling with it and see so how you can see that now we're showing all the information into this nice little modal over here. So here you can see the code we were just looking at that shows the current battery status level and how we got it. Uh, it's a basic API call. We're grabbing the history, setting a start time. We've already gotten the devices uh, in a list so we know what our device ID is. Um, I do have a couple of the different statuses already marked out here. These are in the documentation as well, um, but these tell you things like the charging source, whether you know where it's plugged into, as well as whether or not it's charging or discharging, um, or if it's full. We use that information when we're actually pulling the information from the API, from the return model. Uh, to figure out what the current status is and be able to show that in text. So you can see we're also using Bootstrap to color code the charge level uh, that you see on the screen. And the last thing we're doing in here is we are getting the battery life. Uh, it's a simple call uh, to this particular API and pulling back the single piece that we're concerned with on this one, uh, which is the predicted remaining useful life. And the last piece is on the timeline, we have the, uh, the battery events history. Uh, this one's a little bit more interesting. Um, it does return back with a number of historical events that have happened over time, even if you're only looking at a day or two. Um, I can respond back with an, a lot of information. So in this particular case, we're calling the API up here and then we're going to parse through it. We really only care about, in this particular instance, the number of times that it has um, had some sort of event. A lot of times in your circumstances, when you're using this, you may want to say how many times somebody has removed it from the cradle, um, some, how many times uh, people have been putting it into the cradle, how many times it's been discharging or, or uh, charging, and how many times it may have gone past certain charging thresholds. All this information is available through these event-based APIs. I also put in here uh, some information on how that response actually looks uh, in order to help myself as I was building this out, figure out what piece of information I was going to want to know. So I hope that gives you a good idea of the device health APIs and specifically the battery health APIs that we have included in this particular package. Again, if you're interested, please contact your Zebra account manager or partner manager and we'll get you set up. So see you on the next video. Thanks.